Hey, good day, friends. It's Tasina from Tasina's Wonders of Beauty. I'm going to try to recreate a look that I did at 12:30 last night um, that I just enjoy doing. I was watching The Nanny and just sort of got inspired by a 90s look. Um, I most definitely am not recreating what Nanny Fine looks like because um, I'm not a makeup artist. But I was inspired by her look, and I'm going to um, just cre recreate the look that I did last night. So if you follow me on Instagram, um, I am um, at creating in pink all together. Uh, you can see the look that I did last night. It was so much fun, and I came in here really just to do the lipstick, and I ended up doing a whole face, but I didn't I actually did not put on a whole lot of makeup. So I was really unsure of what to call this tutorial, um, whether it be um, creating a contour look with your foundation or how to make blue eyes pop or red lips. I just really was not sure what to call this tutorial, but hang around and maybe you'll find something that you like. So I am going to tell you first what I did with my skincare today because I've already done that this morning. Um, I used my Volufirm cleanser in the repair line. Then I used my lifting serum in the TimeWise repair line. And then I used the TimeWise Age Fighting Moisturizer. This one is in combo to oily. I really, really love this moisturizer. And right now, I'm going to apply primer. I may have to cut that fan on. It's very warm here in South Carolina today for December the 31st. So, um, Happy New Year's Day tomorrow. This is the Mary Kay Foundation Primer. It sort of has a... I don't know why I'm putting my hand there. <laughs> sort of has a... Um, opaque look to it because it's not transparent. It, it, it's clear, but it isn't opaque. And I really want it into those pores. How I'm going to use my foundation is contour, um, which you will see. I will put it on the outer um, edges of my face. And in the center, I'm going very light CC cream in the center of my face. Primer that is white. And I really just didn't have a whole lot of makeup on last night. But the look was actually glamorous. And I thought, you know, it would really be if I were going out tonight, which I'm not. My husband has to work um, tomorrow. We rarely do anything on New Year's Eve anyway. We sometimes are in the bed by nine or 10. I just, I put some on the foundation brush. I'm trying to keep it right to the center of my face. This is the TimeWise 3D foundation. Mine is in Beige Cool 140. I have a cool undertone, but I really think I'm neutral. There are some warm, uh, not foundation, but warm colors I can wear. I'm going to apply it right to the brush and I'm only putting a little because of the areas that I'm using it. So I'm gonna go right under the cheekbone and this color matches very well to my skin. So it's not a huge contour look for sure. It's a light look, but just really glamorous. Now I'm covering up I'm carrying my foundation below the chin to hide, give the illusion of more color on my double chin because it's so light, it really um, catches the light. So notice the areas that I'm using the darker color foundation. And I may have to do a little more. And if I get right up on this mirror, 
then my mirror is going to be in my in my camera shot. So notice where I'm putting the darker foundation in the recesses of the skull there. And around the temples. Now this this look takes time, even though it's um, it's light. It takes time because you have to be thoughtful of where you're putting the foundation. So don't expect this to really be a very quick look. I'm not quick with my makeup anyway. If I have to be quick, then I'm just not going to wear any or I'm really going to do a light look. All right, I'm going to have to take a smaller brush. And sure, I could do all this with contour, but I just happened upon doing this last night because I was um, just really looking at my face and using, started with that lipstick and I was like, you know, I just, I'm a little color here, I'm a little color there. So I just kind of started messing and before I knew it, I had a full look. So that's how this look came about. I'm going to use that to cover up some more of the redness. I had to think about it for a minute. You really want to get your foundation well around your lips. So as I said, I'm not a um, makeup artist. I'm a beauty consultant. But I know some things. And I learn a lot from others. And I will get a good look at myself, so. If you're seeing something now and it's driving you crazy, I'm going to look at myself. Okay. I'm going to pause and get a really good look. I'm going to use the Tarte concealer today to cover up this area. I will use the Mary Kay concealer and other areas. So, um, but my Mary Kay concealer is currently pretty light, so I don't want to um, use really light right in here because, I'm going to see how far I can move my mirror. Um, I don't want to highlight that area. And I have um, pretty deep recesses here in the downturn mouth. Um, genetically, that's just, just how I am. My grandmother and mother was the same way. I'm going to move a little closer. I'm going to go ahead and dab a little on that birthmark. which is pretty hard for me to cover. All right, let's do the lip there and then we'll go and cover up some of those areas of blemishes. Okay, I got a little too much on there.
tart can see it has such a big wand on it. I should have just took some with the brush. Okay, let's see how that is. Okay. It is a smaller uh, doe foot. And I don't want a whole lot. Because, you know, I already put the very light CC cream in the center of my face. And I'm going to do this with a dampened sponge. The blender. And I noticed last night, just sticking concealer on, because I did do this part last night before I done the silky um, setting powder. That it can kind of highlight those pores. So that's why I wanted to go ahead, put on some primer, and... some CC cream. Definitely a very careful look. I don't always take quite this much time to do a look. Most definitely. I'm not going to put it all the way around um, on my mobile lid as well. Only because I didn't last night. So that's the only reason I'm not doing it today. I might find later on today, but I wish I had. But that's what I'm doing for right now. And I'm using very little concealer beneath my eye. Very little. Way less than what I normally use. I mean, just a dot. Just a dot. Sorry, I tend to open my mouth. Okay, I'm going to use the Mary Kay Brow Tint. I'm not going to fill them in today. Just following the look I did last night. Comb it right through the hairs. I'm trying not to touch the skin too much. So this is to be done very gently. have to get my mirror this is the Mary Kay time wise lip primer it can help to um, it is opaque it can help to keep your lipstick from going into those fine lines and wrinkles around the lips and lip liner and it can help the lipstick stay on longer And it's an age fighting lip primer. Now, I'm going to begin with the lip liner and Mary Kay's, um, some of their products are just so, so simple. Um, as far as name, it's just called Red. Nothing fancy about it. Fantastic lip liner. Um, it has a little sharpener on the end. It's twistable. I really like their lip liners and just nothing fancy with the names. So if you can, Sorry, my mirror is there just a little bit, but I have to be able to see, okay? Now, the thing with this 90s look that I noticed um, is it's not the carrying up above that a lot of people are doing now to just make that lip look bigger. We're really going to accentuate more of the uh, the points. I mean, mine, mine isn't very pointed, it's more rounded. 
And since we covered this up, this isn't a 90s thing. This was um, a tutorial I had watched again last night that I've not watched in a long time of a very well-known makeup artist that really shows you how to make your lips look more pretty, more full, and not just look like a flat um, gummy worm <laughs> lying there on your face, but to really help, especially with the downturning. So um, even when I'm not smiling, because my lips tend to look more full if I'm smiling, of course, but not so much just in your standard resting face because of my downturned mouth as well. And, you know, being older, some of this has fallen. So we're going to, I've got to get in my mirror here. Try not to show you too much of I am coming below the lip a little and I'm not going to, I'm just going to have to hold the mirror up here, friends. I'm just going to have to. I'm not going to go to the outer edge of the lip there because it just accentuates the downturning. So I'm actually going to make it come in on the inside. So already the lips look more full than long and flat by not including the lip that comes all the way out to the edge and that downturned I don't know if you call it a wrinkle. Um, I don't really know what you call that. Now, I'm going to smile. It is overdrawn just a little. I am going to use a brush to get more of my lipstick on. pretty careful when putting my lipstick on anyway. I take my time with it anyway, but especially since I am looking um, to not get to that outer edge there. So again, coming on the inside. I'm going to have to hold my mirror up again. And I'm using Red Smolder. Mary Kay Red Smolder. I'm loading my brush up pretty good. I'm flipping it over and doing it as well. Having lip primer on also will aid your lipstick in going on more smoothly, smoothly because you have that base on there. It's fantastic. And this lipstick is a gel semi-matte. This red lip liner matches perfectly with red smolder. Matte lipsticks can sometimes be drying. So it's a good idea to um, have nourished lips anyway, to take care of your lips. Your lips are, should be part of your skincare routine. And I apply every night or every time I brush my teeth, um, in the morning and at night, very rarely through the day because the Satin Lips works pretty well. It's a Shea Butter Balm by Mary Kay. And um, it just it's just makes for healthy lips. It's 
So now that I've used the brush to get the lipstick on, a lot of people will create that stain with the liner, coloring in the lips with the liner. Um, I rarely ever do that. I just created more of a stain with applying it with the brush first. It helps it get down within the lips. So you have that good base. We've got the primer on, and now I'm actually going to use the lipstick in the bullet. Now, let's see if I need to go back and, because I have kind of a crooked mouth too. And so, you know, just in my resting face, one lip looks a little lower and this side comes in a little more. So I have to overdraw to make mine look a little more even. I see my cat outside my window on my lipstick before I add any setting powder. So if I come back to do any touch at work, Okay, I think everything looks good. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I'm gonna, um, hopefully it's not too long, <laughs> but stick with me. It took me a little while to get this look. You know, it's simple and glamorous and sort of sexy. It's a good New Year's Eve look. Hope you guys have a great New Year's Day.